Uh, hello everyone. Today's video I'm going to cover a pretty small topic because it only handles one uh, singular aspect of a game and that's stuns. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because I think this kind of goes into turn economy and stuff I always talk about in terms of game combat and how, you know, I always complain about like, oh, this isn't worth doing because it's not doesn't it's not worth spending your turn on basically and one of the big ones that comes up a lot in rpgs but jrpgs especially is moves that stun um, i see a lot of times there's this this fear that you know stun must be overpowered or something because obviously in a pvp game i could see how you might get that impression because you know you stun your opponent you basically won like you can take free shots at them. but in a pve game it really is not something you should be super concerned about so what ends up happening is i've played a lot of games where you know Everyone will be like immune to stun. That's like bosses or mini bosses or guys that had aspirations of becoming promoted one day. Like everybody's, everybody's immune to stun. And even when you can stun, it's like one turn stun, and the dam the attack will do way less damage. And on top of that, it's like only on chance of stun. Like at best, like 20%, unless it's like some whoa overpowered TP move. Maybe it'll have 50% chance of stun. So uh, what I've done is I've made stuns uh, pretty good, especially since a lot of my game design has kind of been around making the player able to figure out ways to make themselves overpowered and try to one-shot enemies. So, you know, because of that, stunning needs to be pretty good to compete with that. And as a result, the damage of attacks that can stun is actually pretty close to the higher damage moves. So I've kind of come into this balance conundrum where I've had to raise the stun, raise the damage, and do this and that because, you know, I actually am thinking about, like, is it worth doing? As a result, I actually am hiding the chances of stun from the player most of the time because I don't want, I feel like most players, if they saw the numbers I'm using, would be like, oh my god, that's such a high percentage chance to stun, like, I can't believe it. And on top of that, I have two different versions of stun. I have knockdown, which is a one-turn stun, and, you know, just stun, which is two-turn stun. And one of the starting weapons of the game actually has like a 40% chance to stun. I think that's what I have right now. So yeah, and it's just, it's just a basic attack that just happens. And you might think that's crazy. That's crazy. And so one of the big problems I thought about because I want stun to actually work on most everything. So you can even stun like boss enemies and stuff. And on top of that, I have certain items that actually have a 100% chance to stun, 100% chance to knock down. You know, I've, I kind of had to go ballistic to make stun actually worth using. But then I now I run into the problem of it, it kind of becomes silly that you can like stunlock people if you have the right build. So what did I do to solve this? Well, I went to something called diminishing returns. You've probably seen these if you've ever played MMO or MOBA or something. I didn't go as severe where you know repeated things keep making it stronger and stronger. But uh, so see, I have some QA abilities here. So please excuse the fact that they're not real abilities. Um, what will happen is I can stun this guy and it'll tell you how much how long it has. He knocked down only last one turn and he's lost his turn. But what happens after he recovers from this, after he loses his turn, is he gains this new thing called stable, which makes him immune to knockdown and stun. So that's just a little thing I did. And so obviously show you what that's like by trying to stun him and nothing will happen with both these abilities and he still gets to have his turn so we'll see once this thing ends that he will become stunnable again and this time I will use the proper full length stun See, he's gone from here and here. Wow. So yeah, that's kind of my thing, is I really wanted to think about, like, how do I solve this problem of wanting to make stuns super good? So I basically just used uh, Yamfly's Buffs and States core, I believe is all I had to use, which is, I made it so on leave, they gain a different state. I had to use some custom uh, lunatic, quote unquote, what he calls it, code. So that when it leaves, he gains a different state, and that's a state that called stable that makes him immune to stuff. I also had some, um, you know, polish type stuff where the stun buff makes you immune to knockdown. So that way you can't, you know, overwrite a <laughs> stronger stun with a weaker one. Because what would happen is, you know, the knockdown would leave and then you would gain stable and that would delete the stun. And on top of that, they also have something that says when you refresh a buff, what happens. So say I stun him again. Well, I guess I'll show this first because he's already stunned. So you see, he did not gain knockdown. 
it is a different state, so he didn't gain that. And now that he's lost the turn, let's try to stun him again. And nope. I, thanks to that plugin, you're, I'm allowed to change a state from refreshing when you recast it to just doing nothing. So yeah, he is only ever going to be stunned for two turns. That's the max he can get before he gets his little immunity. And so by doing that, I think that's a good balance of allowing stuns to be useful because I can't just stun lock them forever. And yeah, you could otherwise choose to use an ability that does a crap ton of damage. So, you know, I think a lot of devs don't think about like, not only is it strategically sound to just do more damage, but like if an enemy's dead, then that's better than being stunned. <laughs> so devs always need to think about like, how good is it to do this thing that's weaker versus this thing that just kills them instantly. And uh, yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for now. Just a little thing about stuns.